Hi everyone, we're Michelle and David and welcome to the Explore Us channel. Everyone, it's David, the developer of the Explore Us Traveller app here again. Uh, let's have a look at importing files into the app, um, into our data, into our data storage. What sort of files can we import? We can import a GPS data files in the TCX, KML, and GPX file formats. Uh, I'm not going to go into each of those particular file formats, um, but you, if you have those particular files, or if you received an email with those files, or you have those files on your device, you can import those directly into the Traveller app. Um, if you're on a device and, and you've got those files, you should be able to, on your iPad or your iPhones or your Android devices, you should be able to tap, or even on the Windows, you should be able to tap on the file and it should prompt you to open it in the Explore Oz Traveller app. If you do that, it's exactly the same action as if you use the menu within the app. On the left hand side, uh, the upload file option. So I'll just select that. I'm on a Windows develop. I'm on my develop machine, which is a, a Windows platform. Um, so it's uh, going to ask me to select the file that I want to uh, import. Various devices will come up with this in various different ways. However, you can select the file you want. I'm going to import this EOT37 GPX, which is actually an export of one of our Trek notes. So I'm just going to select open and then the system should process that. It did it fairly quickly. In that particular uh, GPX file, there was a, a, a track line and also some places. So when it's come up to the import file um, screen here, my mini map is showing both components. It's showing me the line, which we call a track log, and it's showing the waypoints, which are the places. And so you can see we've got one track log and 34 places. Your files may vary, it depends what your file's got in it. You may only have track logs, you may only have places. Uh, I wanted this one to be able to show you both options on the screen at once. What can we do? We can give our file a name. Um, import video will do. We can give it a description. Uh, we can also change the line color if we want to have a particular line color. On our, on our file when we've imported it. I'll just change it to blue and you can see that I can see it in the preview in blue. This is our sharing status, locked, shareable or open. You might see this a few times. So on the track log, it can be locked, shareable or open. Locked means no one will have access to it other than you in your own account. Um, shareable means that if, so, if you share, create a link, a sharing link to your file and send it to somebody else, they will be able to open it. So they'll need the link to open it. Uh, and, and, and connect it to their devices. If you set it as open, that basically means that it'll be published um, and visible on the Explorers Track Logs website web page so that other people can find it. And it might be useful if you've done a great journey and you think you want to share that with other people, um, whack it in into open and uh, they'll be able to download it and see it on their own devices. What else have we got in the import track log? We've got the segments. Uh, depending on what's in your file, this particular track log is made up of 33 segments. Uh, again, I don't want to go into all the technicalities of what a segment is and how a segment's made and what segment breaks are and all that other complicated stuff. Just to say that each one of these links between the uh, between each of these places is a segment in this file. So I have the option here of turning them off and what you'll see is from the bottom of the screen on the mini map, some of the parts of the line are disappearing. So I might just say, oh yeah, I'm only going to import up to segment 10, uh, which is, if I zoom in, I can see where segment 10 starts, and it starts at this particular position here. And so we'll just import that bit. So we're going to import the from segment 11 to segment 33, and let's just hit import. Now it's importing up the top and down the bottom, you'll see that it says added to EOT37 GPX folder. So it's added those imported waypoints into a folder based on the file name so that we've got access to it and we know where to find it. It's in a folder. Okay, so that's all been done and that's imported. Let's go and have a look at the places that are also in this um, download. And just like with the track log segments and you can see the bit that we turned off, 
we can turn off places as well. So as we click on here, we'll be turning off these places and they're disappearing off the minimap. So we can see exactly what we're going to do. Oh, I'll turn that one back on because that's where that one starts because I want that. And then we could just, so we're just going to select those places from there to there. And there's no other options. It's going to import them as personal places. So we hit import. Now you can see the import counter up here. It's going to be ticking along, hopefully, and telling us that it's importing them. Um, at the moment, it, it, it runs a fraction slower when you're online, believe it or not, because it actually syncs them directly to the servers as it's importing them. Uh, if you're doing it offline, it runs a little bit quicker and it syncs in the background later on. Uh, I'm quite happy to import it directly in. As it's going along, you'll see that it is uh, adding each one of these waypoints or personal places that it's adding into the folder. So the little folder message is just popping up periodically to let you know what it's doing. And so as we're getting through the import, I probably should have selected a few less because it would have been nice for it to have finished by now. But once it's finished the import, and because we've imported both pieces of the data, it should pro it should automatically take us to the folder. So after you've finished, after you've imported the data and it's done, it'll take you to the folder where it imported the data to. Obviously, if you don't want to import or you want to abort out of this process, you can hit the uh, map button up the top and it'll prompt you saying, are you sure you want to, you haven't done the import, are you sure you want to go? Uh, you have the choice of saying yes or no and it'll take you out of the import. So now the import's finished and it's created this folder called EOT37. It created the folder, the, 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 the file name for the um, track log part as import video, which is what we called it and it imported all of the places for us. So that's all there is to importing a file. You've obviously got all the controls of a folder now. You can rename it. You can uh, open each of these elements. You can uh, add photos and do all the various bits and pieces that you may want to do to each of this, these bits of data. Uh, or if you've finished with it all and you've done it all and I'm just going to now obviously tidy up, I'm just going to show you a, a quick way of tidying up. So whilst I'm in this folder of EOT37, which was accessed from the menu, it's down here. Um, I'm obviously in it. Oh, I just went out of it. Go back in EOT37 and it's popped back up. I'm going to delete this. And because it's all personal data and the video is there, I have the option of deleting the, the, the whole folder only or the folder and the data. And because this was a tutorial and a demonstration, also I'm going to show you deleting folder and data. I'll select both. So hopefully it'll go along and it'll be starting to delete the places and as it moves up the screen you'll see the red indicator indicating that those uh, positions are being deleted. It'll get to the top, it'll then delete the file and it'll, the, the track log file and then it's deleted the lot and the folder and everything is gone. So there you go, importing uh, data into the Explorer's Travel app is really quite simple and straightforward. Um, and everything goes straight into a folder for you to find it when you're uh, completed. So I hope that helps with the file imports uh, using the Explorer's Travel app. Thanks for using the app and we look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.